I'm not gonna lie, I'm lazy, I'm sick of hearing this question, so I wanted to do a video so that I can just refer people to this video of how to not ask about an online broker, or maybe better structured how to ask about an online broker, so let's get to it. Before anything else, I wanna just go into the question that I get all the time, and this just happens to come from uh, you know the the, the chat uh, chat function chat software there we go on my site someone asked in and it's not like i'm picking on this person because this question happens all the time but it's really such a bad question so i want to kind of structure how you should actually be asking whether it's me or somebody else let's approach this in a very methodical and intelligent manner so this person asks What's your best online broker from which you have used? You may be thinking, Clay, that's a good question. What is the best online broker out there? You know, what's the best online broker that you have experience with? No, that's, that's really a bad question. And I wanna break it down to how to properly ask this question. Because the problem here is that with online brokers, they are not all created equal. And there's all sorts of subsections that occur underneath this. And the first way to actually ask the question is, well, what are you looking to do? Meaning, are you looking to day trade? Are you looking to swing trade? Are you looking to invest? And the crazy thing is, even after that, that still doesn't narrow things down enough for me to be able to recommend what sort of online broker you should be using. Now, if you're thinking right now, well, I don't know what I wanna do. There's nothing wrong with that. But just realize that you are getting way too far ahead of yourself. You need to first figure out which one of these you wanna do. But even if you do know which one of these you wanna do, you're still getting too far ahead of yourself. Here's why. Again, all right, well, within day trading, you have scalping, you have you know, you know, various, there's other types. Let's just put it this way. There's a lot of day trading that can be done within just the family of day trading. Scalping is what I do, what you'll see on YouTube, but that's not the only type of day trading. And that's not the only type of day trading that works or anything like that. So there are a lot of other ones out there. Same thing here, swing trading. Within the family of swing trading, you can do that with stocks. You can do that with options. You can do that, you know, ETC. There, there's all sorts of different uh, strategies. There's different approaches within the world of swing trading. Investing, uh, pretty straightforward, investing, uh, and I'm defining investing as you know long long term, and I guess that kind of proves my point when I have to start to define what I mean by things. But you know this is pretty much just long term. But there is you know even within the category of this, you know if is it long term like several years? Is it long term like several decades? Well, even within that, well now you're thinking well you know are, are there tax benefits accounts? or not. So I mean, there's all sorts of things, even as I talk out loud here and I realize, yeah, that even within the investing family, there's a whole bunch of things. And depending on what you're going to do is going to depend on what my answer to you would be in terms of what's the best line online broker. Well, again, I don't know, but even within all of this, still, once again, you know, you need to, there, there's, there's more that goes into it. Because maybe you're thinking, yeah, Clay, hey, Clay, I, I, I'm gonna be a day trader and I wanna do, you know, scalping like you're doing with just within short amounts of time. Uh, so that's what I wanna do. What's the best broker? Well, the next layer, and this, you know, pretty much encapsulates everything, is risk plan. Meaning, sure you wanted to be a day trader. Sure you wanna do short-term scalping. But those are all words. I realize that's what you want to do. But within that, you need to have a strategy that allows you to incorporate risk, that allows you to analyze risk, that allows you to understand risk. And until you have that, then once again, you're the broker, I don't know, because each brokers are gonna have different tools, different functions that can assist you with this very part right here. Once again, maybe you're saying, oh, Clay, I, I, I know I wanna do that stuff, but Will you say analyze risk, measure risk, control risk? What, what do you mean by all those ways? Again, that's, that's no big deal. We all start out new. But take that as a sign that, once again, you're getting too far ahead of yourself. You shouldn't even be focused on an online broker. You should be focused on building a strategy that fits your risk plan. Or in other words, as I've said in many other videos, your personal risk tolerance. Because until you have that, then it's impossible to tell you what would be a great online broker. 
because depending on what you want to do, where you want to go, there could be all sorts of different you know, potentials for other online brokers. Now, I do have other articles and such that I, I talk about things in a broad way, but to just ask me or somebody else, hey, what's the best online broker? That just really shows your ignorance. And I don't say that in a mean way, but hopefully now you kind of see, oh wow, yeah. What's the best online broker? That's really kind of an open-ended question. Now, if you tell me, hey Clay, I want to do swing trading and I'm going to do it with options and you know I want to do this, that, and the other to monitor risk, do you, what sort of brokers would fit that? Hey, that's perfect. That's a very intelligent, that's a very methodical way to ask what's the best online broker. You've given me a lot more context. But to just throw out the broad, hey, what's the best online broker? Way, way, way too broad. And you're just asking yourself to get into trouble because if somebody just starts telling you, oh, use this broker, this broker, uh, they're probably getting an affiliate. So if you sign up for them, they're gonna pay for, or you know, they're gonna make money. But who knows if that suits what you actually need. And what do you actually need? Well, you need something that's gonna help with your risk plan. How do you know what's gonna help with your risk plan? Well, you first gotta get a plan, right? So hopefully you see the logic of why, in all actuality, if you're not, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a strategy in place focused on risk, then you should not even be asking this in the first place. But if you do have all of that, then I guess it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy because if you do have that, odds are you probably know what broker you should be using. But in the event you don't and you have all this mapped out and you have a, a, a true genuine risk plan in place, and here's a hint, my risk plan, oh yeah, Clay, I plan on using stop losses. Yeah, that's a part of risk control, but there's a whole lot more to risk control than, oh yeah, Clay, I plan on using a stop loss. There's, there's a lot more to it than that. But if you do have everything figured out, then yeah, maybe there is a situation where you're not still quite sure. So by all means, ask, uh, but you know, just stop and think. I, I think you probably are getting ahead of yourself if you're asking such an open-ended question, such as, what's the best online broker? If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link, so if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything, and that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community, and let me know if you have any questions.